guys welcome back to the channel um today i thought i'd do the first installation of what i'd like to be like kitchen chats um this one's a little heavier but normally they're going to cover things like handling stress in college and like what i do to plan ahead and like time manage or like meal prepping and things like that and just like talking about my life as a college student so before we dive in i want to give a trigger warning um this video will be covering content that is related to gun violence and mass shootings in the in america and so if that is upsetting for you i i completely understand that and that's an extremely valid um emotion to be feeling at this in our current climate if you would like to stick around for the end of the video i will be going over a fun poop story with our no, it's not a poop story <laughs> i will be going over a fun story in which our toilet exploded um so i'm gonna link that right here okay um and now i will dive into the video um again thank you all for the thank you all to those who are watching um just want to be real with you so yesterday we were coming back from some grocery shopping onto campus and i got a nova alert i'm sure you probably don't follow news around villanova unless you're a prospective villanova student but uh, in which case hi welcome to my channel we got back we were going to the gate and we actually got an alert that there was an active shooter on campus and wow this feels very casual for me to be i mean i i just but it's I didn't, better than like sitting down i didn't want to have a here, sit down chat with y'all like, i think it's supposed to be 375 for the chicken though yeah but we can just leave it in for a little bit longer right i don't think that's how cooking chicken works is it not no let me find my phone i'll just read you some text messages yeah we got message at three at 5 36 see yeah but essentially it says active shooter incident warning active shooter on vu campus at st monica hall shelter in place lock lock barricade doors more info to follow so we were going back into the apartment and then we got back in sophia was here we shut all the blinds and we locked ourselves into the bathroom but we were like locked in the bathroom waiting for these alerts to come and the next, so the first alert was at 536. Then the next alert didn't come till 555 where it said shots fired update. Police are on the scene. No indication of a shooting. Building sweep in pro progress. Stand by for update. Then nine minutes later, we got an update that said shot fired update. No shots fired. Building is all clear. And then finally, 13 minutes later, we finally got the ending that said like all clear. Um all that time we were like not getting any updates the emails that were being sent weren't matching the text messages so when they sent us the all clear the email would come out and then be like active shooter incident and be like telling us what to do in the case of an active shooter okay ready this is the length of the alert email okay yeah, so there's, they send this long email that like, in the case of an emergency, we were like talking with professors and NOVA doesn't really do much training for students in this kind of like drill manner, the same way that you do for high schools. And I like understand that we're at a college level and a lot of this is just common sense, but we don't do any type of training regarding um, active sh shooter alerts, especially given that mass shootings are so prevalent in the United States, um, which is another topic in its entirety. But they give us like all these like things that you should do and I get it you want to send us tips but like if we're standing there in a classroom like nobody has time to read through this whole email and like figure out what's going on and like it's a long email to go through and like what you should report and all that stuff like these are things that we should have known before this alert these are things that people are supposed to have like we should have some kind of course like coming into school that tells you like in the case of an emergency these are the things that you should be reporting um but we don't yeah. have that and then at the bottom they gave us the link to the public safety website which of course like i'm locked in the bathroom and i click on the website and what do you know there's literally no information on it um 
I had issues with the fact that shots fired, the shots fired, sorry, this was supposed to be like a whole kitchen shot talk and now it's just Alyssa cooking and I'm screaming at my camera. Sorry. No, I, that's. I'm trying to get this in the oven before I chime in. Um, but the fact that they kept sending us messages that would be like, shots fired, no shot fired. And like, I feel like they should have titled that better for students who were like running across campus trying to find shelter. That's ter a terrifying mis message to get, even though it's like the, you're fine, it's safe, like we're okay, like it's not happening right now. My other issue was like, while I was in the bathroom, I was like looking through Twitter for like, I'd be like searching up Villanova and seeing like what people were saying to see if I could find any updates and just like get, know what's going on, seeing as public safety was not really updating us that well. And the we were getting more updates out of the Radnor police than we were getting out of our own public safety department. So I just feel like maybe we should be we doing should better about that. Because our police officers are fully armed, sworn in officers. So why did they need to call in back? I mean, sure, calling in backup is a great thing to do, but like, why were they relying on the Radnor police or so it seemed? Yeah, I just can't imagine what it's like. I just like really ended up screaming at my camera for 18 minutes, mm -hmm. but I just can't imagine what it's like being like a freshman and like, cause like I heard yeah. from like, we were talking, talking in my qualitative class and there were like people who were like, oh yeah, my brother was there or oh yeah, my sister was there and it was like, mm -hmm. I can't imagine. They were just like told. Your first week of college and that's what you have to Yeah, the through. police came in with their guns drawn and everyone was like running out of the building with their arms up like and they were like, told them all to le evacuate the building so they evacuated the building to the evacuation spot which is just like in a herd outside mm -hmm. and then they came out and like yelled at them again to leave so then all these kids were like running for spit and so then someone was saying like yeah these kids were just like running and spit and pushing like as far back as they could go so mm -hmm. all these freshmen were just like hiding in the freezer in the dining hall there um and it's like terrifying because they didn't really update parents either so mm -hmm. parents didn't really know this was going on then the other thing was like people were talking about how today on campus they were expecting to see like maybe police or public safety like more out and more prevalent on campus like at crosswalks or like just kind of patrolling and just like ensuring students that they're here like everyone is safe because we do have an open campus so like people can walk in and out most campuses are open but ours is like you're allowed like people like regular people that are not students are allowed to walk in and out so like having public safety on campus would just like reassure everyone but they were hi sophia hello do you have anything you want to say we love pop safe phil university is doing good job we love it and i'm not being sarcastic if you believe it <laughs> Um, and it was just like, I feel like there were things we could have done better, like reassuring students that we are Sorry. safe. What? Sorry, they're going. I'm just excited oh. about the eggplant. We're making Sorry. eggplant parm. I think I forgot Thanks, to tell mom. you guys. Um, but I just wanted to air that all out in my first kitchen chat. This one was a little heavy, but hopefully in the future, they're not going to be as heavy. On a side note. So I'm going to get to pet a dog on Thursday. <laughs> On a side note, yesterday, so like yesterday I got a phone call. I was heading to meeting for Sigma. I get a phone call from Alyssa that essentially goes, <laughs> Help, oh my God, the water's pouring out of the toilet. I don't know what to do. So I'm like on the phone, I'm like, what are you talking about? And so essentially what happened was Alyssa did not do the poopies. It was not clogged. Let me explain. I peed, that's it. I flushed the toilet, everything went down, you know, like it does, and then when the water rose back up, it didn't stop rising. <laughs> it just it went over, and we don't have lids on, not that the lid would have helped. Not the lid, the lid really wouldn't have helped, no, the water would have just gone. but I was just like, I wanted to do something, so I was just sitting there. <laughs> And it just goes back down and then it flushes again and then it's fine like it looks normal so I was like okay that's not that much water <laughs> so I, 
I take two paper towels, just as a starting point, put them on the ground and they're immediately just like waterlogged and saturated. And so I was like, not, not the move. So then we called maintenance. Yeah, and so then they came and looked at it and the guy was like. Oh, you plunged the toilet? <laughs> It was like somebody plunged it, and I was like, it wasn't clogged. <laughs> I was like, sir, I just Imagine peed. clogging a toilet so bad that um, it floods your bathroom. Imagine peeing and then having the toilet <laughs> turn on you like that. So then we were waiting, and so like we got back from meeting. It's about 11.30, still nobody, yeah, we should be. Um, still public safety or well maintenance hasn't come to like do anything help us in any way like had the water not been like one and a half inches on the floor I would have just been like let's just clean it up whatever but I was like what do I that's soak what, up like how do I like, get like, rid of an inch and a half of water off the floor um <laughs> while I was waiting I was like trying to think of ways that I could like scoop the water into the shower <laughs> Uh, for the record, don't do that. And then get a shot back. So they finally came. I called again at 11:30 and was like, "What's the status on uh, custodial services?" Hello. And they were like, the, the guy at Pub Safe really just like walkied him and walkied, walkied. What's the walkie word? Talkie. What's the word? Walkie radioed. talk. Radioed. Yeah. I'll call you on my radio. He radioed the guy. And was like, "What's your ETA?" And they were like, five minutes." <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then it straight up was another 15 before they showed up. So at this point, it's like 11.50 that these two guys show up. Like, thankful that they came with the shop vac, yes. They came with this hefty boy shop vac. And Sophia opens the door and goes, oh my god, it's a lot. And then, in reference to the shop vac, but... She like she was like, oh my god, it's a lot in reference to the shop back. And the people were the two guys were like, oh my god, there's a lot of water. And Sophia was like, oh, uh, well, no, yeah, uh, that too. Well, yeah, but uh, no. <laughs> and then so they came and they like all the water, and then that that hurt me. But they all the water and then proceeded they like stepped in the water and then they stepped all over the place in the apartment with their wet shoes and then they stepped on our bath rugs so then of course now it's about like 12 o'clock and then I was like well I can't just leave wet toilet water footprints everywhere so I like aggressively mopped down the apartment Ooby. Touch all the doors. They put their hands on literally everything. Yep. <laughs> and they came stomping in with their big boots. <laughs> oh no, the hair. Very fun. Very good. And then, okay, so then tomorrow rolls around, and tomorrow is now, they're like, today, today rolls around. And I was like in the middle of my class, and I get a phone call from Elizabeth, and she goes, Some guy just showed up, and our downstairs neighbors complained because the, our apartment is leaking. And he came in, and Elizabeth was like, Oh, it must be the fact that our toilet flooded. And he was like, Oh no, it's your shower curtains. They're too short. The water is puddling. And she was like, No, it is not the shower. We have not showered there because we cannot get to it because there was an inch of water on the ground that was essentially our kitchen chat I'll, I'll i'll bring you guys back in when i actually when we finish cooking our pasta and i'll show you our completed dish but we made eggplant parm we're making chicken for meal prepping so that we have chicken for our salad um yeah. have you seen the tiktok trend where people are putting oven mitts on their feet no, like, walk a mile in this I'll show it to you. Heck yeah. Yeah. Here's our good homemade, thing. grown in our own garden, and then hand, really? hand fried by Ellen Norwillow. Yeah, Wait, we really? Grew, yeah, we grew the eggplant. Oh. I'm not being sarcastic, we actually. Wow, look at her go. And then we're boiling water for some boxed pasta. We didn't hand make that. Yeah, we did right there you couldn't even hide it thanks for sticking around for this video um hopefully the next one will be a less heavy topic like managing stress or something like that if there's a particular thing you want me to talk about feel free to comment that down below um just make suggestions all that i'm all for it um to my like two subscribers um other than that 
thank you all for watching and lots of love to you. Bye! Lotso. Oh, and here is our finished product. Yeah. Yeah. Is that for eggplant? I forgot the word. Food! Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!